Hello everyone, my name is Lukas and in today's video I will show you how to import and edit PDF in OPLAN. First thing you need to do is to open your project with drawing file you are planning to work with. Currently, you have done your part of a group project of a house and all you need to do is a merge data with your group member who was in charge of interior design. His drawing output is in PDF because he probably worked in different software. Your next step is to check in which scale you are drawing so you can import PDF in the right scale. In my case, I'm currently drawing in scale 1 to 50. I will keep the scale like this because the final output will be in 1 to 50. Now you can import PDF using the top left hand corner button with Allplan logo. You need to find import and then import PDF data. After this, the dialog window will open. In my case, the PDF is located on the desktop. Let me just double check the PDF name. Ground floor, scale 1 to 100, format A4, interior, final. After reading it, I know exactly in which scale the drawing is. Then I click open and another dialog window will come up. The first part is telling me what type of PDF I'm importing. You can have flat PDF in 2D or you can import 3D PDF of a whole model. In this case I'm importing 2D PDF so it doesn't allow me to change it. Next thing you can see is the area saying scale. If you are importing PDF of the same scale of your drawing, then you keep the scale at 1. For example, I'm drawing in 1 to 50 and the provided PDF is 1 to 50 scale too. In my case, I am drawing in 1 to 50 and importing 1 to 100 scale PDF, which means that I need to scale it up by 2 in order to have the proper dimensions of the house. Bezier split level defines on how many segments you want the split curve. The higher the number, the smoother the curve is. Of course, it increases the data as well. If the PDF has layers, it is easier for you to split objects. Join text lines is used for keeping the blocks of text together, or you can split it in lines. You can set other functions depends on how you prefer to use the PDF. If you are happy with the settings, you can just click OK and the PDF is imported. Now you see that living room furniture is missing in your project. So you select the furniture you want to copy. Be careful not to click, because you pick just the lines and the fills. Once you have everything selected, you copy the components by using copy function. Pick the point from which you want to copy and then place it on the right place. If you are not happy with the graphical representation and want to keep it consistent, You can delete fill one by one or use the filter function. You need to click at the arrow below the funnel and choose filter by fills. Use pipette for a quick selection and click on the fill. Now the filter is set and all you need is select the whole room. The filter choose the fills and you can quickly delete them. Finally, the drawing is completed with imported furniture from the PDF provided by your classmate. Thank you for watching and see you in next video. Bye bye.